got up at half three this morning, like a kid on Christmas morning. But for me, this is just about as good as it gets. Proper wild fowling. The beginning of September is, I admit, a little early in the season for wild fowling. It's definitely a little too early for this abuse on the nostrils, wading out to our hide. I'm not sure which is worse, but no, we've to we've to wade out through this phragmitis, and yeah, it's pretty stinky in here. But we get out to clean water, about 30 yards, and then we'll wade round to a to a hide. And um, yeah, as I said, it's it's very early in the season, so we won't see much today. But it's just uh, it's an, like an adventure to come out here, and when you're hunting proper wild birds, one or two is enough. That's what's got me out of bed this morning and into this bog so early in the season. Wild fowling was how I cut my teeth with a shotgun as a kid and it's been something I've never lost a passion for. The excitement of fumbling around, setting up in the pitch dark and waiting for the sun to come up, gradually unveiling the beautiful setting. These are Flambeau U-Vision decoys from Enforcer decoys. Enforcer are releasing their own line of decoys later this year, but they sent me these. And these U-Vision are quite unique. They have um, ultraviolet paint patches on them. And apparently ducks see ultraviolet first. So these give off the UV signature that ducks know that other real ducks have. So apparently they, they work really well. Hopefully we'll find out shortly. Colour seems to be the last thing that appears as the sun rises. But just before it pokes above the horizon, we have our first flyby. Shooting in this half light requires practice and skill, and I'm feeling a little rusty this morning after a long summer. We've just had our first widgeon come over, um, quite a distance out, but I had a go, and um, it was a clean miss, unfortunately, but just in this half light, it's very difficult to judge range and therefore judge your lead, and it's something that at the start of the season I always struggle with. It gets better as the year goes on with more practice, but um, yeah, this morning I think I'm going to need them a little bit closer than that. gram game bore steel filled my cartridge belt this morning, as Richard, who has very kindly invited me out, mentioned there could be a good chance of some geese. These shells may be a little big for what's coming to the decoys, but they're definitely doing the job. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Well, this is my first duck of the 2018 season. Little hen teal, 100% wild bird. The group came in really, really fast, nicely in towards the decoys. I've shot two out of it. Um, one of them dropped a little bit further out, but there's another guy further down, and he's going to pick that one. But yeah, love these little birds. They're a really, really tricky bird to shoot. And you could see there, people always hear about springing teal 
and it's a very popular clay pigeon target but with the first shot there you can really see how they turn on their tail and, and climb into the sky and um, makes them really tricky shooting and fabulous little bird to eat as well they're my favorite favorite duck to eat so yeah really really chuffed with this 100% wild bird um, never been touched by human hand before and um, yeah this is what real duck shooting is about for me small bags but um, proper wild harvest there's no other reason I'd come down here at this time of morning but what a treat just to to see a sunrise like that is just incredible and in this setting wild birds all around us and um, I suddenly sort of became aware there a few minutes ago we're standing here and like these lakes down in this part of the country are throwback to the ice age and I think as long as shotguns and guns in general have been available people from this area have stood against this lake and, and hunted wildfowl and I just sort of wonder how many people have stood here and seen that same sunrise over that same horizon and the whole process hasn't changed that much really um, it's still just standing here with a gun and my dog a few decoys yes we're surrounded by technology and we have airplanes overhead and windmills just on the horizon and we've got the top of the range Benelli here and shot cams and all the rest but the, the basic hunting hasn't changed we're still just trying to trick a wild bird to come into range so we can kill it cleanly and bring it home and eat it and for me that's the it's the bread and butter of Irish hunting really we don't have as much commercial hunting as in the UK and it's, it's what I grew up doing and I wish more people had would do it and experience it and this is the hunting we should be promoting and this is this is where it came from this is why we originally did it and um, yes it's fun and it's sport but you're just pitting your wits against wildlife and trying to bring it home and eat it and for me it's it's just such a, a wonderful wonderful feeling to do it had a bunch of ducks come in there lovely quite high but um hit one hard with the first shot Missed it with the second, but I finished it with the third out behind us. And then um, we'll, we'll pick that when we're finished. But yeah, I was, I was hoping for a double or a treble there, but yeah, my shooting's not, not up to much this morning, unfortunately. Get, I'm actually getting really, really excited when, because our chances are few and far between when, when ducks come in. I'm really feeling nervous, which is, uh, which is a great feeling, but yeah, I wish I'd have shot a little better. Well that's it for the morning, we're going to pack up. The sun is well up in the sky now and birds have stopped moving altogether. And yeah, it was, it was about as expected. We saw quite a few ducks. I have one picked here and I have two more behind to pick. But it's my first time this morning actually using this Benelli Raffaello. I haven't really dialed into it, but absolutely beautiful gun to use. It really is the sort of Rolls Royce of semi-autos. And I was putting 36 gram game bore steel through it and with this progressive comfort recoil system it just it soaked them up really really well for such a light gun it really is a light and fast handling gun but i'm really looking forward to doing more of this really nice gun to handle and hopefully we'll get it out on on some pigeons in the next couple of weeks shiny guns shock cams and technical waterproof jackets all make the job a lot easier but the problem that never changes and now i have to figure out how to pee while wearing chest waders spotted fishing yeah um my host for the morning richard scallon good friend of mine said that i'd be able to wait out to get the decoys but um, Richard is known for his sense of humor and um, <laughs> I'm already up to my knees in silt here so I'm not going to risk going out there so he's <laughs> he's provided me with a grappling hook to try to get these decoys in so I'd say within the next four or five hours we might have some of them back Well, 
Richard, my very generous host, who sent us into the Jungle. depths of the bog. Um, very kindly picked my other two ducks, one that fell behind and one that fell over here, a pair, pair of widgeon, cock and a hen. Pretty successful morning. Uh, I'm surprised we didn't see some, some more mallard. We did see a few floating around, but nothing came, came to us. But yeah, great morning for the first day of the year.